domestic violence is not an issue or not a matter of sheer strain between relationship husband and wife ka jhagda aise nahi hota hai you must understand that domestic violence is a matter of power and control by the man in the patriarchal society so this is very important it so public health issue domestic violence is a public health issue so it has got long term and short term consequences on the health of the woman again her family and that to on nation and that's why it is very important to tackle domestic violence a pure biomedical approach will not be sufficient for the survivor uh, a survivor of violence and she needs a holistic health care what do you mean by holistic health care if she is coming to you and she is having certain physical injuries so don't go uh, you do dressing that is your part but why uh, she is having injury it is because of domestic violence and you should uh, you should be able to help her coming uh, out of the um, uh, uh, environment of domestic violence and this is holistic health care we will see one by one how we can approach uh, we can give uh, develop the skills of holistic health care so how should be the response of health care provider one it should be non judgmental you should not be judgmental ki you are like that and that's why you are suffering from this this should not be a case the healthcare provider should be objective and fair enough and he should treat the patient without discriminating on the basis of caste class marital status sexual orientation disability and religion you may understand many a times a patient unmarried girl comes to, i am a gynecologist and many a times in opd what happens a unmarried girl comes and she wants mtp she is afraid she does, uh, she uh, she is not knowing how the doctors will respond to her so she is afraid and on uh, when she is coming to you you also scold her why you are able not use contraception and all that and that should not be a case you should treat that girl like a married woman only so this approach should be fair enough and objective the woman must be treated with respect with an understanding of inequalities in the society and their impact on their lives as well as women's vulnerabilities owing to their social context or position in the society this is very important you must be empathetic towards her uh, what happens if the lady is coming to you if she is coming for abortion in second trimester or after 20 weeks when you think she has done sex selection and that's why she is coming late to you but this may not be a case there may not be a access for mtp she may be having certain obstacles at home and she is not able to use contraception her, uh, her uh, husband may not be allowing her to come and that's why she is coming late to avail this facility of mtp so doctors must not refuse that uh, that uh, mtp services to her and this is very important then you a healthcare provider must ensure that the common misconceptions about violence against women prevalent in the society do not influence their own demeanor and so they should be non judgmental and fair enough to help that woman so to our help who has given guidelines or published guidelines in 2013 and these guidelines recommend asking about abuse as a part of clinical inquiry when a patient or woman comes to you ask what are her your symptoms what is your history past history kya hai personal history kya hai all we ask but we don't ask the history of domestic violence but what who is telling who is uh, telling us uh, to ask abuse as a part of clinical inquiry in which patients when you have a uh, some uh, suspicious you are suspicious about domestic violence in which patients especially in cases of mental health and antenatal care women uh, so women coming for antenatal care because uh, the evidence suggests that these women are more vulnerable to violence than uh, normal women so you must ask to this woman with privacy and confidentiality the woman must be inquire about violence at every stage of pregnancy as violence may begin or escalate at any point the many patient they reveal but if you ask they will reveal uh, and it helps the patient to disclose the history if you ask her with privacy and confidentiality then she will definitely tell you the history of domestic violence and healthcare provider must not assume that woman is safe during pregnancy and she will not suffer because of domestic violence this may be not be a case 
think many women who are anemic why they are anemic why they are not taking uh, pills e- even if they are available free of cost why they are not taking antenatal care services they are not opting opti- uh, antenatal care services because they may be suffering from certain am- amount of violence at home and that's why it uh, this may be a reason that they are not coming so we should understand that and that's why it is important to develop the skills according to who so what is this uh, who approach it is a live approach so we have to give first line support so what do you mean by first line support first line support provides practical care and respond to women's emotional physical uh, physical safety and support needs without intruding her privacy whatever she wants emotional support she wants physical safety she wants or whatever support she wants you will have to have give that first line support and this is a who's model for uh, healthcare response to violence against women so who has given five simple task uh, so what what are these task one is listen second is inquire third is validation fourth is enhanced safety and fifth is support 